What's up, peeps? Nick Battle, a.k.a. Nino's Cornerman. First off, if you like this content that's coming your way, hit the subscribe button. It means it's on. It helps me grow the channel a lot, folks. And also, if you listen to this on the streaming podcast platform, Apple uh, Podcasts, Google Play, like, comment, subscribe, share. It helps me grow the channel a lot. Hit that bell on YouTube, folks. Get all my notifications here, folks. But today, we're here to talk about the recent commitment, Alex January 6'5", 322-pound defensive lineman from Duncanville, Texas, class of 2024. Why is this important, folks? This is highly important because Texas needs to secure those trenches from the defensive side of the ball prior to them going to the SEC in 2024. Adding a guy like Alex January to couple with a guy from the previous cycle in Sadir Mitchell means that Texas has two big body six foot five to six foot six guys that are no kidding, 325 to 330 and 40 pounds who can clog the middle and be the anchor of the defense. Folks, what do we like about Alex January? Alex January is one of those guys that is, we take a look at his on three consensus, 6'5", 322 pound defensive lineman, um, interior defensive lineman. Um, he's a consensus three-star recruit, the national 422nd uh, ranked player in the country, the number 39th ranked player, um, well, the number 39th ranked defensive lineman in the country and number 71st ranked player in the state of Texas. Uh, folks, the recruiting rankings on here, you'll see he's going to have an uptick here um, in the senior year. He's from Duncanville High School. Great pedigree. A lot of great a lot of great players come from that school. Duncanville, Texas, my sister and brother went to Duncanville, you know, high. So I know all about that school. But outstanding player who, if I'm not mistaken, everybody in the country wanted to have Alex January on their squad. Georgia wanted him. I think Michigan State, you know, offered him as well. Anytime Georgia offers a big defensive lineman, you got to take take heed to that. It's the same way that Georgia offers, you know, Sadir Mitchell last year. Um, yeah. You can't teach size. You can't teach speed. And you're going to see that on this film here that he has a little bit of both, a lot of size and good speed and good footwork for a guy that's 300 and, you know, close to 330 pounds. And he's not a sloppy 322, folks. He's very in shape guy. You'll see does not look like he has any fat on his body um, for a guy that's that big. Yes, he's 322. He looks like he's a big guy, but he doesn't. it doesn't look out of place. But. Folks, on that note, let's go ahead and get into the video so that we can see his stats and see his uh, his film and see exactly what he brings to the table. All right, Alex January from Duncanville High School, class of 24, defensive tackle, man. Um, first team All-State, if I'm not mistaken, and the state champion here. Uh, Coach, Coach Samples is one of the you know the uh, best coaches here in the state of Texas. Look at him, man. He's 322 pounds. He doesn't look it. Doesn't look fat at all. I mean, he's a big guy. Don't get me wrong. He he's a big kid, but it's not sloppy weight. I mean, he has a great first step, keeps his pads pretty low for a big guy, and bam, makes a tackle, diagnosis to play very well. You gotta love what you're seeing here. Here he is lined up, bam, takes a guy down, diagnosis to play, gets the running back. They running back wanted no parts of that. <laughs> he wanted no parts of that. Here he is playing in the tackle again. Yeah, he's just so big and he's so dominant. He just sheds blocks off of him. And this is 6A ball in the state of Texas, folks. 6A ball is the best ball in the state. Um, outstanding player, man. I mean, look, man, Duncanville has the opportunity to repeat again. You know, if he can play to the level that we all know that he can play to as well, clog up that middle and make it easier for other guys in that team that are also D1 prospects. I mean, look, I love the game. I love his speed. I love his footwork. I love his size. Like I said, it's two things you can't teach, his size and speed. If you saw that play right there, he got his pads very low, and that's a smaller guy. It's hard to get your pads lower than somebody who's actually shorter than you, and he's 6'5", and got his pads lower. That's why he was able to drive the guy back. Outstanding film. Shout out to Coach Bo Davis, man. One thing that Sark needed to do in the 2024 cycle was shore up that defensive line. And – Coach Bo Davis and PK and Sark have definitely done that in this cycle by getting a guy like him. Texas has to pull two to three of these guys every cycle because we need great defensive tackles, especially going into the SEC in 2024, to be able to uh, stop the run and to be able to match up with those big bodies that they got over there in the SEC, the Bamas, the Georgias. Um, you know, the uh, South Carolinas and the Kentuckys and the Auburns and the Floridas, LSUs, man, the Texas A&M. So you got 
big offensive linemen that can do great things. And you got to counter that with uh, with great trench work from the defense side of the ball. And Texas is doing that by getting a guy like Alex January. All right, folks, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the recent commitment of Alex January to the 2024 cycle here for Texas. Texas shoring up that defensive line before they go into the SEC here in 2024. I think it's an outstanding pickup for Texas, and I think Texas got themselves a good one. Don't look at the star rankings on this kid, man. Everybody in the country wanted this guy, especially the defending national champions in Georgia. And so when Georgia wants you and calls you, especially the defensive line, you're special. Uh, Texas fans know that from the recruitment of you know, one Sadir Mitchell last year, and we ended up getting Sadir Mitchell. Georgia was on him until the absolute end. And it looks like they'll probably be on Alex January until the end as well. Let me know in the comments what you think on this. But like I end this podcast, like I end all of them, do you folks? Don't be afraid to fail. Like grow your environment, understand your brilliance. Horns always up. You know, it's corner out, hook them.